Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. So, I'm not exactly sure when this video will come out, but today is December 31st. Last day of 2020, can I get an amen, right? So, I know this year has been tough on so many. Sorry, I'm like a little bit cold. You can laugh at me. I know Californians, we get cold from anything. Ugh. I know this year has been tough on a lot of people and, and there has been some tough times for me too, but honestly, so many amazing things have come out of 2020 and I really pray that you are able to find a silver lining as well, as hard as this year has been. Um, but I mean, it was my first harvest, so I, how can I not be happy about that, right? I mean, my first harvest, it was so amazing, better than I ever expected. AJ started PA school. What else happened? I had my heart surgery that went really well, so that I got that taken care of. And uh, they're just, it's been awesome, you know? And then earlier in the year when we were able to get together with people, I was able to uh, get together with a whole bunch of the farm tube team, Millennial Farmer, Welkers, Fast Ag, of course, my BFF, this farm wife, Meredith. Um, so, you know, it, it's it's been a tough year, but I'm looking at the silver lining today and I'm really excited to make some goals for 2021. Um, and yeah, just crush it, you know? So I hope you guys find some happiness in the new year. So today, my little project, it's actually, it's already 3.30 or four, so getting close to the end of the day, but I am gonna be doing some work in my chicken coop. Um, we've been getting some rain, which is super thumbs up in California, we need rain, but my chicken coop has become a muddy disaster, like disgusting mud. So I saw online about adding sand, and I actually got just a little bit to try out, so I have sand on this side, and it's amazing, I love it. So I got a pear bin filled half full with sand. Um, the only bad problem is this is the only, well, I have one other one, but this is the opening to my run. So it's not like I can bring a tractor in and dump it. So I've got this pear bin of sand and I'm gonna be shoveling the sand from the pear bin into a wheelbarrow and getting it in there. And then after that, a couple of you guys asked me to show you a little bit more about my chicken feeder. So a while back I made this chicken feeder where it has these little PVC pipes in here and they stick their heads in here and here's the food. Well, I'm gonna make another one of these, um, if not today, tomorrow. So I'll show you guys how I make those. I love it. And especially now with the rain, no rain gets inside. I need to take this feeder out. I haven't used it in a while. And I have a couple other feeders, but when it really rains, they get wet. So I'm really a fan of that new feeder and I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of those. All right, let's get started on the sand. So I need to back my pickup up just a little bit more. Oh, it's getting chilly. Chilly for me. But uh, it'll be good once I start shoveling. I'm not gonna be cold. And then I just teach the chickens to scratch at it. Of course, they walked away, but you can already see all their little footprints. So they do half the spreading for me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little out of shape. 
but that means the shoveling's good for me. But I'm gonna take a little break from shoveling and do some raking. So try to spread it out. I'm trying to do like two inches thick. Like I want it to be pretty thick. I don't want it to just disappear into the mud, you know? pretty good I can get this rake okay I think that's a good little start everything is looking nice and smooth so you can see this is the old sand it's a little bit drier this is the new sand and this is the muddy disaster the other nice thing is I've got some good little holes where they dust bathe and I'm gonna be able to even that stuff out with the sand but this just, doesn't this just look terrible, guys? I'm ashamed of myself. This is gonna be so lovely. And chickens actually will enjoy the sand too because they will they can still dust bathe in the sand, which I let them free range as much as I can, so they're still gonna have access to dirt, but they will actually eat the sand to keep it in their gizzard because um, they need like little rocks and stuff in their gizzard to help break things down. So they'll be able to get little pebbles and stuff out of the sand. So. These are going to be some happy chickens. They're going to enjoy the sand so much more than the mud. Also, quick note, I know um, when I do videos on the chickens, um, some of my longtime subscribers have asked about my second channel. I did make a second channel very briefly about the chickens, but I just realized there's I don't have enough content. Um, I don't make enough videos about chickens really to have an entire second channel. But I feel like when you're getting three, four chicken videos a year, I, I, think, I think most of my subscribers don't mind and, and don't mind following along with my chicken adventures. That's why I say it's mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. And uh, there are chicken farmers out there. All right, I got all of the sand out of the pear bin which it was not as much as I was expecting, but that's okay. I th This one wasn't quite full and I have two more completely full pear bins that I think will get me as far as I need to go. So I'm just gonna... All right, we are on to our next project, making my chicken feeder. So here is what I buy, DIY chicken feeder. I got these off of Amazon. I'm not exactly sure um, what they cost. They weren't too expensive. If you were super savvy, you could probably make these yourself just by getting the PVC pieces. But I just liked buying the set and it made it really easy. So the first one I bought was a, like a little bit um, more than just what this box is. And it came with the hole drill I need. And it actually came also with some nipples that you can make for a water. Um, a waterer, which I haven't made. I might make down the road, but I'm not gonna do it right now. So I bought one of those because I wanted the hole drill. And then the rest, I bought just this box, which is just the supplies you need to make the feeder. So this is something else, like my dad probably has this, um, but here's the hole drill. Like I said, it came. One thing you do need a three quarter inch drill. Pretty sure that's what this is. Pretty sure. Pretty sure this is a three quarter. So I actually didn't have one of these, so I had to go get my dad's because mine, um, the hole here is too small to put this in. So I'm pretty sure this one is a three quarter inch drill. So you need to make sure that you have one of those and then they give you the tools you need, which makes it super easy. So the nice thing is, is you can basically make it out of anything. Like I've seen a lot of people do, um, like 55 gallon drums, which I actually should be making one out of those because there's a ton more space. I have a lot of these plastic tubs, just like this, like people use them for moving and packing and storage. Um, my uncle one time just gave me a ton of these. So I use these a lot to put chicken feed in and things like that. Um, so that's what I'm making them out of because I have a lot of them on hand. 
and it makes it really easy. So if you guys saw in the chicken coop, there's two on each side. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly how we put this together. It'll be super fast. And uh, if you have chickens, you might wanna get one for yourself. And I think this is great for any number of chickens. Like even if you only have four chickens, if you have space for something like this, it's so nice because it just holds so much feed. So the first thing you're gonna do is get one of the rubber gaskets out of the pack and you're gonna measure five inches up from the bottom and you're gonna make a dot and that's gonna go in the center of the gasket. So that is the amount of space that the um, elbow has to go down. So you can see I have the little dot there and we're gonna cut the inside of this guy which not so great while holding my camera. So there you go. Now you know where you're gonna cut your two holes and I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. All right, now that we've got the two holes uh, drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill put together. Voila, perfect hole. Maybe not so perfect, but I think they look pretty good. Now we'll do the other side. One thing I will say is be careful when doing those holes because I tried to do this one and I broke a huge hole in it. So be careful. I don't know if it was partially the plastic or if I just pushed too hard. Um, this was the very first one I tried. So definitely uh, don't push down too hard. Just give it some time. It'll go through. All right, so next we've got the gasket that we use to make the circles. And then this is the piece that actually goes into the feeder. So I actually find it easier if you put the gasket on this first, because the gasket does have holes and uh, can line up the holes a little bit better. Put it on here. And there you go. All right. And then get it in. And another nice thing is if you find that the screw doesn't grip onto the material you have, they actually do have these like little nuts that you can put on the back. But um, with these, I found that they hold, they grip. So I'm happy with it. All right, so, oh, and just so you guys know, each of those boxes comes with two of these. So I ordered two boxes so I could put four. Just gotta pay attention to what you're buying. All right, that one's on there pretty good. And then here's the little hood to protect from rain that'll hook there, but I'm gonna finish all the other ones before I put this on. All right, two down, two to go. Just got this for Christmas, I love it. I didn't really have any good cordless drills. My dad got it for me for Christmas and I love it. Okay, I got all four of them on. So now we'll take these little, this keeps the rain from, from getting in there and they just push right in. 
There you go. See? And I'll do it on the other side. All right, I just um, ground up some corn and my grandma gave me this little wagon. You can't really see it, but I love it because I don't have to carry things around. So lazy, right? So I've got the corn and I've got the new feeder. I'm gonna mix some feed. Um, I like mixing the layer crumble I buy, ground up corn and some safflower I got from my cousin. So I mix that up. I should be fermenting feed because that really helps it last longer and it's good for the chickens, but I haven't been lately, but I'll have to get back on that. All right, I'm gonna mix some feed and then we'll fill up the feeders. I'll show you guys. I was gonna let the chickens out, but there was a hawk hanging out. So I don't think it's gonna happen today. All right, so I started buying my chicken feed in bulk, which has been a game changer. 250 pounds at a time. So I do three scoops of the feed. This is totally made up calculations. I'm not following anything recommended. <laughs> so I do three scoops of the feed. One scoop of the corn, and this is our corn we harvested. And then one scoop. Oh, I said this was safflower. It's actually Milo. It's my cousin's Milo. All right, so I pour it all in there. And then I mix it. And I'm just gonna continue doing that until it's full. Alrighty, there we have it. They're already instantly going for it. Um, when I put the new one in, I just pushed a little bit of feed right to the end of those tubes and I took all their other feeders out and they caught on really quick. So I'm so glad I have two of those now. Um, I think if I were to ever buy a container, I'd maybe get a clear one. But like I said, I just had these on hand, so they're nice. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember to hit the thumbs up button if you did, and I will catch you guys later. I hope you have a fabulous new year.